Is crime really that bad in this town to have a set of gallows right in the middle of the town square? Yeah, well. Anyway, hey everybody, it's NickV97 here, and this is part two of my walkthrough on Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. In this episode, we're going to try to fight Professor Frankly. Let's go this way. Freeze! What? You two, not another step. Don't come this way. Wait, what? Why? Is there, like, a gang on the other side? Some complete jerk just bumped into me and made me lose a contact lens. I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move! You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch. Not an inch, you hear? Oh, well, this is gonna get a bit boring. Oh. Ah! Idiot! You stepped on my poor contact lens! I told you not to move! Don't your stupid ears work while you're thinking! This is your fault. Now I have to buy a new contact lens, but you're gonna pay for it! Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy! Not happening, dude. Drove off for losing your damn lens. Fine, if that's your plan, then here's mine, you oaf! I'm gonna block the gates to the west side of town until you bring me a new contact lens! You can't be serious. I mean, I mean, I'm around you! Let me throw! Physics! Work with me, damn you! Alright, well, we're not getting past him. He's got moves. Even though we can get around him. But still, we can't go into the west part of town until we get him a contact lens, so let's look around here. And there's nobody here. This must be his house. Okay. I understand. Well, how about here? Oh, this is a shop. Welcome. Yes, welcome. This is the Toad Brothers Bazaar. Yes, Bazaar. <laughs> hey, what's that? You want a contact lens, you say? Hmm, wait. Wait just a moment. Uh, you do realize that, that all contacts are not, you know, the exact same, and you can't just buy one and expect to work for everybody, right? Gee, fella, I'm sorry, but we don't have any stock right now. Tough luck, I know. I can special order one right now, but it'll take a while. Check back soon, okay? Alright, so we can exp we can come back here in a little bit and get that contact lens, but for right now we can get some more, um, we can get some, uh, stuff. Let's see here. Ooh, a mushroom will come, come in handy. That oh, customers receive one shot point for each purchase you make, save up enough shop points, and you can get prizes, including some rare items, and you'll find a list of prizes posted in any shop, so be sure to check it out. Yeah, don't explain it to me again, I'm good. Okay, so wait, where's that list? Ah, here's that list over here. 10 points gets you a mushroom, 20 an ice storm, 30 a super shroom, uh, 50 a thunder rage, which is really good, 70 a shooting star, 100 gold bar, 150 life shroom, which is really good, 200 is an ultra shroom, 250 is a jam and jelly, and 300 is a gold bar. Or three gold bars, actually. Which is worth a metric shit ton of money! But anyway, let's go ahead and buy some stuff. Uh, mushrooms will rip, heal up 5 HP. Uh, yeah, we got an item. Yay. I know. Uh, honey syrup will replenish 5 FP. We'll get into what FP does later. Uh, tasty tonic cures poison and other ailments. I don't think we'll need one of those. Fire flower. Definitely a handy item to have early on in the game. Ten coins, but worth it. Uh, sleepy sheep, temperate temporarily puts all enemies to sleep immobilizing them. They say all enemies, but it doesn't work on every enemies. So, be aware of that, especially bigger enemies. We won't need that. And the Fright Mask summons a scary spirit to chase some de enemies away. This actually is going to come in... This might come in handy if we get into a battle that we can't run away from that we really don't want to do right there, so... Yeah. Um, this is the inn. Let's just check this out. Uh... Who's this dude? Yeah, well, let's see. Oh, what are you doing? Sneaking up on a person as he sings most joyfully? Jo jo I said that right. Who, me, you ask about? I am called Flavio. I am, how do you say, a trader, the richest man in Rockport. That's interesting. I'm leaving now. And if you go up these stairs, come up now. Now. Alright, come on. And. There's Toadsworth. Hello. What's over here? Oh, look at this. Go over here. Anything on this? Can I fall down here? I can. And it was a complete waste of my time. And, you know, something that was kind of nerfed in this game that uh, you can't do anymore? Uh, you can't spin dash anymore, which kind of sucks. Because spin dashing was a great way to speed run, and now... And 
I'm messing around with all the buttons and I don't see a way to spin dash anywhere. Open at 11 a.m. today? Well, what time is it now? There's no internal clock. Oh, I might as well go through this stuff. Uh, this is, um, like, this shows you all your menu stuff, how many star points you have, coins, star pieces, shine sprites, which actually make an appearance from, th from Mario Sunshine. We'll get into what all those things do later. Um, this thing right here, Rising Star, the higher your star rank, the bigger your crowd will be. We'll get into what crowds do later. Uh, we'll also get into badge points whenever we and flower points whenever we start using those. And level 1, well, we haven't gained any levels yet, so yeah. Uh, party, once you get a few more party members, you can uh, use different... Uh, or you can, well, you can choose between different party members. Uh, right now, the only one we have is Goombella, and she has two moves, Head Bonk, which is basically a little more than tackle and tattle which ba which uh, lets you view uh, en enemies descriptions and see their HP in battle really handy actually uh, there's your items there's also the important thing which is your mailbox SP which we'll get into later once again and finally we have a tattle log which basically just lets you see all the enemies you've tattled on and the map which shows you it, it's basically the treasure map we got. So I think we've explained everything there, so onward and such. Hey, by the way, Mario, have you saved yet? You see that save block in front of the inn? Since we're here, you ought to save now. Just jump it, just jump up and hit the, hit the block to save, okay? Yeah, you're right, I don't think I have saved yet, so yeah. Just hit the block, hit yes, and boom, game saved. Couldn't be easier. Alright, so let's go through here. Thanks for reminding me, Gabella. You're not totally worthless after all. Whoa! Who the hell was that? Hey, what's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you! Huh? Mario, you gotta wake up. That guy just stole half your coins. Oh, damn. Well, almost half. I hate this town. Alright, now, to find this guy, you gotta go back. Which is kind of sucky without the spin dash. Oh, I love the spin dash. Go over here. Go to this uh, little ghetto. Open the damn door, you fool. Ew, this place sucks. Oops. Uh, fancy meeting you here. You're pretty dang persistent, buddy. We're paying. Fine, fine. Okay, you got me. I'll give you your coins back. Here. Yay. So, yeah, you walk away with a whole lot of nothing. You don't gain anything, you don't lose anything, and yeah. That happens. And such. Alright, so, let's go into this part of town. Now, look right here. That's actually something that you'll need to know for a later part of this game. Especially this guy. Remember him. And I know I'm giving away a lot of remember this in the future. Uh, you see in front of this house with, that has the shine sprite? Hey, look! It's Merlo! Your mustache has really grown in, my man. Uh, he will... Let me talk to him. He will basically um, improve... or He'll level up your partners. Uh, if you bring him, I think, three shine sprites, um, he, he will level up each character for you, which is really cool. And we'll get into Shine Sprites later, but this right here... Hey, there's the old Goomba we're looking for. Oh, hi! There you are, Professor Frankly! Huh? Who's there? Who wants me? Ah, yes, you. you now, you, uh... I've seen your face before. Uh, that face, yes, that face. Wait, wait a second, don't tell... Just a moment, don't tell me. Silas, I'll get it right. Mmm, it's not Goombriel. Uh, it's not a lizagoon. Hmm. Uh. Ding! Aha! I got it! You're Goombella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last, last year, am I right? Wow, yes, sir, that's me. I'm Goombella. I'm a junior at you, Goom. Go, Goombas! So, you're telling me that the University of Goom's mascot is the Goombas. Gee, bus Christ. Of course I remember. I'm... Not to my own arm, but I'm pretty good at remembering. You, though, you stick out in my mind because you're an exceptional student. And that guy behind you is... Woohoo! Who? 
Oh, anime fall. Mario! Professor, he's Mario! You know the famous one? Oh, my apologies. I'm such a bookworm. I don't know what about what's hip right now. Uh, the, the princess saver! Dumbass. Anyway, in any case, what, what Lord of Aaron brings you two all the way to a place like this? We were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasure said to be below Rogueport. I thought that if anyone would know anything about it, it would be... It, you would, Professor, right, frankly. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study that very subject. But why do you guys want to know about the legendary treasure? You know that most say it's a little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Yes, every old person has to have a southern accent. It is the law. Archaeologists and historians have to search for truth in those fairy tales, though. Me? I believe in the legendary treasure it truly does exist, and I really want to find it! Good point, and well made. In that case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, about the treasure. There are many mysteries surrounding it. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a mystical item. <laughs> Damn, I'm, I'm making him sound like W. <laughs> well, some books say it's actually a monster, while others say, claim, uh, while still others claim it's an empty chest. I believe it's those weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> so many different theories, obviously it's impossible to find the truth among them. But all agree on one point. To find the treasure, one must have the crystal stars. To find the crystal star to find the treasure of yore, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. You mean the crystal stars in that old saying that super elderly people pass down? <laughs> super elderly? It makes him sound like a superhero. Got the wrong super elderly. Indeed, the same. As the saying goes, if you want to find a legendary treasure, you must first collect seven crystal stars. Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance of the thousand-year door. Then the stars will light the way that lead to the stones of yesterday. Yeah. A lot of lore I've read says that the magical map is taken to the doorway. Then it'll show you where to find the crystal stars. Correct. And a thousand year door is supposed to be supposedly deep beneath this town. Yet the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map, is lost. If only we had that map. But we do have it, Professor! Or well, not we exactly. Mario has the magical map. Dun dun da What? Really? You you actually have it? Can I take a quick look at it? If you don't mind? Here you go. Stop me. This is it! The real thing! The one and only magical map! Yeah, trust me, there's gonna be a lot less exposition later on in the game, so... Hang tough! You, Sean, are my hero! You're great! Fantastic! Wonderful, even! With this, we can find the crystal stars just by holding this aloft before the legendary door! Right on, Professor! Good golly, what are we doing sitting here? Go, Bella! Mario! Off we must go! Go search it! Take the magical map to the legendary door! Okay. And by the way, see this trash can? It will come in handy too. After every boss. Just keep that in mind. I bet you didn't know this rotten old thing came off, did you? <laughs> Whoa, hello. That just happened. We can use this pipe to get down under the city streets. Come on, both of you. Let's get moving. Alright. We can't take on this guy yet to get to the east part of town, but we will eventually. Oh wait, hang on. Mario, something occurred to me. Yo. I'm fairly certain there are quite a few footrooms below, uh, so uh, keep your guard up. You do don't know about act. Oh yeah, I already uh, showed off action commands. I think in the fight against that one crump dude. Really? A master, are you? Well, maybe you ought to practice them once, just to be safe. No, no, thank you. I'm good. A bold young lad, aren't you? Right there. Down we go, and just stand on his old pipe and tilt down to enter it. Well, we will do that in the next part. So. In the next episode, we will head down into the underground of Rogue Port. So, this has been NickyV97 saying thanks for watching. And stay tuned for part three of my walkthrough on Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. I'll see you guys later.